Hi, in this session I'm going to go through how to use the dsum function. What the dsum function does is it sums up a column in a table based on multiple criteria. So you can easily just sum up uh, the sales here. So you can see that some, this, that this cell here has summed up the sales amount. So if I select this range, you can see down here the sum is 1910. But what if we wanted to sum up uh, folks in the region of uh, East right and then press enter you would get 850 so for everybody that was in the east let me do it just select the the folks in the east press control and then select that cell that's east here and this is east here you can see down here it's 850 well what if I wanted to sum up uh, only one person or two people or one person in the east and let's just say uh, there's multiple people here in the east there's Michael and Linda and let's say I can just I just want to sum up uh, Linda in the east it would point out 88 she's the only one here uh, if she were anywhere else here it would sum up that so basically we're summing up uh, a table uh, a column here based on multiple criteria so you can also use the advanced filtering uh, feature in Excel I have another video on that and I'll link to it so this is just another way you can do summing based on multiple criteria. So let's go ahead and describe how you use the dsum function. Let me go, just go ahead and delete this and we'll just go through it. So I'll use the dsum and do an open parenthesis. Now the database is your table and you're, you're going to include the labels, the, the column fields. So I'm going to select that and press comma and the field is which field? Now you can put in, that can either be the label or the column number. So at first I had the, col the column number. If I put three here, and I'll go back an example and see how this works with the sales, with the label. That would be the third column, one, two, three. And then my criteria. So my criteria is this small table here. So I'm going to select my criteria table, which includes the column fields or our labels. Close parentheses, enter. Whoops. I had a period there instead of a comma. So press enter and you can see it picked out 88. Now if I delete it Linda and press enter it'll be 850 because it's going to include these two and the last east down there. So that's 850. Now I had mentioned earlier that it doesn't need to be the column number. It could be the label there. And if you do put the label there you have to put the label within quotes. So that is the sales label or the sales field. Press enter and you'll see it comes out with the same value, 850. And I can change this if I wanted to do west. It would pick out the folks in the west, Mary and Raj here. And also Raj down here and Raj down here. So you can see 645 is picked up. If I just wanted to have Raj in the west, it would just pick him up here or just Mary. Mary's Rod shows up a couple of times, so let's just do Mary. And Mary shows up here with the 56. So that's how you use the dsum function in Excel. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.